everybody so today i am gonna film my first shoe youtube video on this channel and i've been into running for a, around a couple of years now and i've just always really enjoyed shoes and running shoes now so i'm gonna give you some cool shoe content in the future hopefully and today i'm gonna show you these endorphin speed twos so i picked these up uh, at a local sporting goods store for about a hundred bucks on clearance and I think they were just trying to get rid of the colorway um, so I got pretty lucky there I think um, normally these run about a hundred and sixty dollars so I would say that that's a pretty sweet deal and uh, so far I've ran about 20 miles in these shoes I'm planning to run my first marathon in these shoes in about three weeks here and then after a while, I might give you guys a long-term update on these shoes. Um, but we'll see how the, the marathon goes in these shoes, and we'll go from there. Um, so, let's take a look at the shoe here. So, let's talk about the, the fit of the shoe first. Um, so, I have flat feet, and I like to have a little bit more of a platform to stand on. So you can see that this is pretty curved here. I like to have more of a flat piece across here, a straight piece across here. Uh, so I have a little more of a platform to stand on with my flat feet because obviously when my foot's in here, it pushes over the side here and uh, I don't have a whole lot to, to stand on with this shoe. Whereas some other shoes, let's, let's take a look at the uh, A6 Nusa Tri 13 here. There's the shoe. Um, it has more of a platform for me to stand on. So you can see, oops, wrong shoe. Uh, let's put this down like this. Uh, you guys can't see that very well, but there's a little more of a platform for me to stand on there. And the, the Nusa. Not a whole lot, but I can definitely feel it when I run. And um, so then my forefoot is also a little wider, having the flat feet. So there's not a ton of room in the Sacconis, um, but I wouldn't say that they're it, there's they're terribly narrow. Um, I've had some other shoes in the past where uh, my feet just did not we're not able to fit in there very comfortably and I can I can tolerate this um, but I can definitely feel my toe touch the side here but it's not really digging in but there's I'd say there's just enough room in this shoe for me uh, if you have pretty normal feet don't you don't have wide flat feet um, you should have no problem fitting in this shoe I wouldn't think so um, so for the ride on this shoe um, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Um, it's just so reactive and bouncy. Um, there's a ton of energy return. They have their power run PB foam on this. And it's kind of like Adidas Boost. If you have ever had a pair of Adidas shoes with the Boost uh, cushioning before. It's similar to that. Um, but I, I really enjoy this uh, power PB foam. And um, the shoe has a nylon plate and it makes the shoe kind of snappy. And the ride on this shoe is just phenomenal. Um, you really kind of have to try a pair on and experience it yourself uh, and go for a run in them to, to find out what it's like. It's, it's really fun. Um, I would say that these are probably the most fun shoes I've ever run in. Um, but yeah. So for the rubber on the bottom of the shoe here, you can see there's quite a bit up front, not a whole lot in the back, which is okay. Um, so far, there's only 20 miles on this shoe, so I wouldn't expect to see much of any wear, and there's, there's just no wear on either of the shoes, really. With a little bit of dirt there, maybe, but that's to be expected. Um, I really only ran inside with these so far uh, on a track so 
I would not expect to see much wear, especially at this low mileage. Um, these came with a pair of black laces, same same as these, but black on there. And you can see these are pretty, pretty stretchy laces. Um, and they came with a pair of black ones. They also came with these and I just switched them over. So if you buy a pair of these shoes, you'll probably get two pairs of laces, I would assume, um, unless this is the only colorway that had that for some reason, but I am not sure on that. Uh, the tongue, I think they call this semi-gusseted where, where it's attached down to the bottom there. Um, it stays up, up on top real nice, it's held in place well, and I've had no problems with that. And you can see that the tongue also has this little reflective piece here, as well as there's a reflective piece on the back, which I'm not a huge fan of that, but that's it's okay, I guess. Um, I guess it's nice to have a little bit of some reflective pieces on the shoe. Not sure if this is reflective, it might be, probably is. It looks like it is. And uh, for these pull tabs here, um, I'd honestly rather not see these here. <laughs> Um, they just feel kind of flimsy. I never grab onto these, but I mean, I guess they're there. If you, if that's your thing, um, they do have that, <laughs> but I've never been a, a big, big fan of those, but I guess they don't, they don't really bother me either. So, um, the upper is a nice strong mesh. Wouldn't be worried about this ripping. Uh, it's kind of reinforced here in the checkered area it's pretty strong and uh, a little bit thicker there and then this is like a rubber rubberized Sacconi symbol here so it gives you a little bit of extra strength and support which is kind of nice and overall I think it's just a really nice looking shoe um, it's really fun to run in and um, I think that most people would really enjoy this shoe I'm gonna give this shoe an overall rating of eight out of 10. Um, the only reason I say that is just because of the way it fits my feet. Um, it may fit your feet quite a bit better than mine if you have just normal normal feet with normal arches. Um, you, will, you shouldn't really have a problem fitting into these, I wouldn't think. So if you've been thinking about buying a pair of Sacconi Endorphin Speed 2s, I would say go for it. It's a really fun shoe and uh, give it a try. So uh, we'll see you in future reviews. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you later.